Yeah. So, okay, okay, so uh, in Brussels, I've made, um, I've made uh, Daniel, he lives here and he's originally from uh, Erit Ethiopia and he's gonna share with us his views and his, how he, his experience living in Europe, especially Belgium and so yeah, Daniel, come on. So, Hello. Tell us who you are and how old you are and how long you've been living here and yeah, in your experience living in Europe. How do you how do you feel about living here? And, you know. Yeah, I live here a long time here in Brussels, uh, in Italy, in France, in uh, everywhere. So I'm done it. Yes, but tell us. So how long did you live in Italy and then how long did you live and why you working there or and what motivated you to come to Belgium? I was in Italy, young boy and his family and everything, you know, a long time ago, 70 years ago. And, uh, Is it? Yeah, 70 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, for five years. Mm -hmm. I was there. It was good, good time, you know. Did you work there or are you just learning the language? Uh, language, school and everything, you know. I like Italy. Italy is a beautiful country mm -hmm. at that time mm -hmm. when there was a lire. Oh, before the Euro? Before the long time. Okay. Oh my God. Are you yeah. serious? Pizza, lasagna, spaghetti, <laughs> Italia. You know? So I was staying for five years. Do you work there as well? Did you yes. work in Italy? Moratori and the hustling and mm -hmm. the sailing and stuff mm -hmm. in, the, in the beach side. Mm -hmm. on, the, on, the on the sea. beach, yeah, okay, on working on the, yes. okay, on the sea. And, and working there. Okay. I was working in the shop. Mm -hmm. yeah. selling, selling items. Or... Selling items. Mm -hmm. uh, commerce ambulance. Okay. How, how you say <laughs> commerce ambulance. What does that mean? Do you know me? I'm, I'm not so gifted in those languages. Ah, uh, uh, English? Whatever. What? Just, yeah. What does that mean? Commerce? Commerce? Commerce Italian. Ah, that is like, oh, good. Ah, that is almost like, that is like, okay, that is, okay, like, Spanish, Comestas, Benes. Comestas, okay. Benes. Uh, and so, and, okay, so during your life, so that means you have been here 25 years yes. already in Europe in general. 30. 30 years. Yeah. And in Belgium, how long have you been living here? 26, 7, something like So we can say you're settled in Belgium. Yeah, it's like I feel uh, it's my place also. Okay, yeah. and you're home. It's my second country. Okay, so you have your family, your kids and wife and stuff like that already settled here, right? I have no wife. Oh. That I have a doubt of, but yeah, I divorce. Okay. It's okay, you know, it's yeah. many people, you know, one from three. Uh, two from three is divorce. Yeah. Why did you divorce? So did you, were you married to a Belgian woman? Or were you married to a Ethiopian woman? Or what happened? Oh, uh, I mean. It was with uh, Belgium. Okay. Yeah, the culture difference. Okay. And uh, the difference of the language, you don't understand. When uh, mm -hmm. she don't speak, I don't speak French, she don't speak Italian at the time. It was just in love and... Communication. Uh, so communication, you just part uh, off with the passion of just like, was, like sex was and... love. Only love. But <laughs> love, love, love was on. not enough. You know? Only you love serious? is to live with someone. No. <laughs> Only love is not enough communication, <laughs> language. Huh? Yeah. Everything, money and everything. You okay, know, so... Be, yeah, so every each other areas you have to balance before love works out. That's what you're saying. It's not just about the love, but the love elements not of finan to the finances or and finance communication, is not yes. communication and, and the common interests and common values, uh, religion, family, exactly. values, all those things. So you yeah. mean that there was a the difference, clash. you know, cultural clash. Okay. I, don't, right. I think it's like this okay. cultural clash. I, okay, I just wanted to be sure that that is what you meant. Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. tell me. So if I ask you about you here, are you? What would you tell people who wanna come to live in Europe? They are in Africa and they would love to come to live, for example, in Belgium. Yeah. Would you tell them it is fine for them to come? They would be they find a job and they, it would, they would live a, a much better life, or maybe would impact their communities back at home. Or what? What is your take on that? If you would you say yes, you can come, you can live good, and you know, look, look at yeah. Europe is flourishing, okay. people are okay. living really good. You know, okay. what would you say? Uh, you have honest opinion. I can't say stay there. Why? Why would you tell somebody to stay there while you're staying here? Why, are you not why, being why, why they come here? Do so they what? can work and, and maybe earn a little bit more money and maybe live a better life. I just don't know. I mean, everybody says that, so why would you say they should not come here? I mean, I'm just super curious because they also would want to know why your reasons. Oh, are you just being mean? Yeah. You don't want them to come and live in a land flowing yeah. of honey and milk? Yeah. 
Uh, milk and uh, that is long time ago. It's finished. It's finished. Honey and milk is finished. No, you will come and uh, to integration and then to work, to study, to have a place, to have a, have a children. And this is a long time ago. It was good, but now I don't believe uh, that it is. Uh, working i don't know but is for some the... people even you are study you have one diploma two diploma three and you don't get a job no it uh, depends you know so life is not uh, the there's much people coming here mm -hmm. for example mm -hmm. Ukraine, mm -hmm. the also syria the refugees from europe and yeah, from maybe Arabic now they, from taiwan they will come again so okay. no place Okay, okay, so what so, you say, you mean that now the Europe is like, especially Belgium or Europe in general, is now over flooded with refugees? Yeah. Who, okay, from the Ukraine at the moment, Ukraine at the moment, and others are the Syrians who've been like all yeah. over, and then maybe others might come in also in future. That is what you're saying. And that, is, that doesn't make it suitable for people to come from Africa because the jobs are no longer there, the, the opportunities that the people used to come here from and are all filled over and it's not interesting anymore because the money isn't just there. That's what you say. Money is not there. Love is not there. <laughs> huh? What can um, you tell, tell the girls? Better want... to stay there and to try, you know, whatever. But if you have a war, war, war zone, I don't say it for that, to save your life. But for money, <laughs> no money, and you have no funny here. <laughs> okay, so if I would ask you to wrap up, for example, now, comparing to the cost of life, like how much rent do, do you like pay? Just a normal rent, not just rent, the cost of life, like how much do you spend on rent, food in a month? So how much would someone need to earn to be able to just live a normal life? Not, not, a, not to reach life, like to just pay your bills, electricity, gas, internet, rent, and food. Bas basic, how much would someone need in Belgium to live, to pay those? Yeah. You know, you pay, you pay, always you pay here. Belgium have nothing, just the tax. Everybody pay tax and mm -hmm. they give, they take from uh, some rich or whatever, mm -hmm. or that and this, mm -hmm. and they give pocket money or uh, for okay, that's work the, loser. Or okay, loser. Uh, jobless people who are, jo who are yes. given money from the agent, uh, work agent, agent. The agents that yeah, they give you social, uh, social, yeah, social, social help, right? Social help, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, social assistance, yeah. And they so, give you. yeah. So many, do you think many Africans living here are on social help or are fully gain for gainfully jobs? Employed? They work. It's not about Africans. Some, also the all Belgium, the people, all the, all the European people. or whatever yeah. who have right that mm -hmm. the minimax mm -hmm. call it. But I don't know how can you survive with it. It is not so much money. How long you stay with it and uh, it's difficult to say come or not, but I say, me, yeah. I prefer to go there and work. You prefer to go back to where? No. You know, I lost my church, my friends, my school friends, uh, my neighbors and my land, my tree and uh, my culture and my food, everything I lost. Mm -hmm. So here I come. You have to start up first. Just uh, and what? you're alone. In certain 20 years, but it's, I don't know. Some people have money, but I don't run for money because it's. But I don't know. Okay. okay. To be rich or whatever, it's not. Uh, it's not possible, I think. In okay. this time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, to live maybe, so, yes. Okay, yeah. So Daniel says that, okay, so guys who are back home there in Africa or any other countries who want to come to like Belgium or Europe at the moment, Europe is not in the best shape for any person to migrate here at the moment because the opportunities have changed, situations have changed because of the war, because of many refugees, so the, the, it was not the old Europe that you come to and just like get money, get opportunities and get like that lavish uh, posh life you could live, it is no longer there and he would at most say that Moral he, and dignity <laughs> Here in Belgium, <laughs> oh, not in Belgium. Europe. Belgium is nice. Actually, it's yeah, my but... <laughs> country. Welcome, but generally, prepare, think twice before, before you start to think uh, to come. Yeah, it's almost like the same as an America. This American dream. People always don't ask. They they think think in the past how life used to be in America, in Europe. But we are not in the past, guys. We are in the now. Things have changed. 
to you have to have a clear like goal what you want to do there you can just not come here and say that oh now i'm gonna go there and we're not even maybe you don't even have the education the credentials or, or even you might have the addition the credentials but those qualifications are not are not relevant here because the european system will not will not validate them they'll say this is crap this is not from our system so you end up starting to do a cleaning job do you know what i mean I, yeah, the cleaning job, maybe at best a waitress in a restaurant when you are really like, yeah, they value you a little bit, but normally they just end up doing the cleaning jobs or security or those kinds of things. All right, so. Yeah, as you said. So you are telling people them. People is 5,000, 5,000, maybe never here mm -hmm. outside the sleep people. Mm -hmm. But now 5,000 sleep outside, how to call it? In, oh, homeless. In, homeless. Homeless. Oh, is it? Yeah. Five thousand in the small city in the Brussels. Yeah, five thousand. Five thousand minimum. That's a huge number, though. Yeah, hmm? that is really huge. Yeah, it's five thousand for a small city like this. No, we're not even. We're not even. So where you go? No place. Five thousand people is sleeping there, and they come and they give you and they sleep with thirty thousand people, thirty people, thirty-five. In a, a uh, in one place. bedroom. No. In in one bed. So uh, the quality you know? of life has so, changed. Mm, you Europe know what I mean? Changed. Better you married, working, agriculture, and make money, and uh, go to school, yeah. and do something. But if you are in the war zone, I will not say something. Yeah, about if you are it. in the war zone, you, it, is hard, it is fair for you to to run from the war and seek for refuge, refuge here, so that you are in a safe place. But if you are not in a war zone, there is no point for you leaving your family, living your farm you could do agriculture you could do any business you could hustle there but he says it is much better than europe that, is terrorized right? my sister too yeah because putin war you know ukrainian war that yeah. is war this is and the so, economically you see is ba uh, yeah. battled uh, oh yeah it has just started and it will like, go uh, on it will go on bread yeah. was 50 cents now it's one euro no, Even 75, in Europe, but no, yeah. In, in Germany, it is more. In England, it's more. Everything Things is like more. so. Today. Life is, uh, you know, it's not uh, as you maybe expect. That so, you, so I know you. there is no bed of roses in Europe. That is what he's saying, especially Belgium. So, guys, he's saying that you do not have to come there because you might be coming. You might be coming from a frying, a boiling water, jumping to a frying pan. That is what he says. There are no pers great perspectives here for you. As my sister, she said, <laughs> prepare yourself, even you're coming, for it. <laughs> yeah. If you don't come, it's okay. If you're coming, prepare for uh, yeah. the worst. Yeah. Don't, don't, be, don't just come hoping that everything will be... You if know, there like is a worry, you are uh, the first, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> no okay. safe now. Africa is safe from nuclear, <laughs> from war, from that and this. If there is something, Europe is yes. so better to stay in Africa for the moment at least. <laughs> After the war is, huh? you maybe come you to uh, yeah, when the Ukraine, Taiwan, <laughs> everything is finished. Huh? My sister. Yes. True, yes. That's correct. Uh, Thank you so much, brother. After it was you come. Great meeting you, sharing Not this before. Respect. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Yeah. Peace. <laughs>